Good morning, Art One. So our first facial feature we are going to draw in detail is eyes. As you will see on the classroom, I've attached this handout on there. And we are going to draw a set of male eyes, female eyes, and then I want you to draw the eyes of the famous person you've chosen to draw. So we are gonna break down um, step by step how to do this together. So as you can see in each photo, it shows you step by step of how to draw a female eye. And then here you can see this is a male eye, female eye, shape of the eye is different. Um, female eye has more elaborate um, eyelashes and groomed eyebrows, where the male eye, the eyelashes aren't as enhanced and it's not as detailed and as smooth for the eyebrow. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I've done here is I have created with photocopy paper, just like a little book with four sheets of paper and I fold it in half. So when we're done with this whole process, you're gonna turn this book into me that you've created. So put your name at the top for me. So I know whose is who, okay? So you can turn into your first page here and you have your tool basket. You, there is a, just a um, drawing pencil and a blending stick. The blending stick, you will learn how to properly use it in this process because you'll find that there are some times where you need to add some darkness and some texture, but you don't want the harsh lines of a pencil and that's where you're gonna use a blending stick. So let's look at our steps here. So we have the eye shape. So I always think of a football. So it's kind of a football shape. And then you wanna add in the curve and this is gonna be the colored part of your eye. And then you can look and see you have a dark, that's gonna be black. And then you wanna have a section. So this section here, this is where the light is hitting. So like they have done it there. So it's gonna stay really bright and light. And then you also have this line here, and that's what shows the eye, makes the eye look like it's curving out. And same thing on top. And then you can go in and just keep adding the details. So what I do, instead of adding individual eyelashes, I kind of add like, almost like a capital A shape. If that makes sense. You can do individual, but it's, it's not gonna have a realistic look. Okay, so I started out with just my basic number two pencil. So now I'm gonna move over to the actual drawing pencil. I'm gonna shade in. So you can see here where they have the outer part darker and then they have some lines in here to create the look. So I guess more in that step there. So, and with your pencil you can just go in. If you want, you can go ahead and fill this part in here. And here's where you can use your blending stick. So your blending stick, you're gonna go back over. It is gonna pick up some of the lead that you use, but it's also gonna smooth out some of these lines. So remember, you're still gonna see some of these pencil lines that you make, but it's also going to shade it a little bit. Okay. You can see that I've added some shading to the actual eye. So now I'm going in and I'm adding in eyebrows, or eyelashes. 
okay? I'm probably making it a little too thick. So I can always go back and take away if I need to. But I'm also gonna add in, before I get too much detail in, as you can see in like this eye here, do you see how they've shaded kind of down in here? Um, so I'm gonna add in a little bit of darkness there. And then right here is gonna be light on the top of the eyelid because the light is able to reach it. So I probably should have done this first before I started working on the eyelashes. And then same thing here, I'm gonna make that a little bit darker. And then when you're shading the actual eyeball, you are gonna want a, just it to be kind of dark in the corners, so that way it enhances that shape, that curved shape. I'm gonna go over my eyelashes I've done so far, because I wanna darken up the eye some. So that line right there, do you see now I don't have that pencil line? I kind of buffed it out a little bit, but you don't want to leave just that line because that doesn't look realistic. You want to kind of shade it out a little bit so it looks lighter. Then you're probably going to shade up a little bit. And your eyebrow is going to be up in here. I really didn't leave enough room in my paper. Eyebrow is going to be up in here. So I'm going to want to add a little bit of shading because you got, you got to think you got your nose right there. Do you see how I'm adding different value by just using this blending stick? You're going to find that you're going to be utilizing this tool quite a bit through this process. I'm just going to add a little bit more lead here, going in really soft. And I want to do that really softly because uh, my plan is just to kind of buff it out there. I can always go back in with my eraser and if I need to lighten it up a little bit, I easily can. <clears throat> so now I can go back and continue adding detail with for the eyelashes. So I'm gonna go in and just erase right there. So now I'm gonna go back in. And I'm trying to lighten it up a little bit with my eraser so that way there's they're not so thick. Keep in mind that with the eyelashes are going to go, they usually all go curved towards the outside. And then once you get towards this way, you want to change the curve a little bit.
You can see I'm not making them all the same shape. Kind of going different thicknesses. Now I'm going to do the bottom, same thing. When I do the bottom eyelashes, I kind of do like an upside down V or a U. And then I can go in and add detail. So here is my first eye that I have completed. Make sure you move it down more so you have more room to add detail to um, the eyebrow and the upper eye. But you can always go back and with your blending stick, as you can see, I have it pretty, pretty loaded up right now with lead from my pencil, but you can just continue to add different shading. And then bringing it down. Okay, so now try to draw the other eye, female eye, male eyes, and then draw the eyes of the famous person you're drawing. So you can label on your paper. I want you, I would like you to label your eyes. So these are female, male, and then your famous person. So if I'm gonna draw Reese Witherspoon, okay. See so how that there.